All right, all right. So part of my show is we're gonna learn about what's going on around the world. And the biggest thing going on right now is these college campus protests. Um, and we're protesting about the Palestinian-Israeli war that's ongoing in the Middle East. Most of the protesters are aligned towards the Palestinian cause, hoping civilians get better treatment and stuff like that because from what it seems like, um, the Jewish nation is bombing sort of indiscriminately at times and um, as a human, I believe in human rights. And I think both sides, well shit, both sides are at fault here. And we need to find a way as a world, as, as earthlings to stop the deaths and shit. Damn, that was deep. All right, let's go watch a protest real quick, huh? All right, this one is police clearing UC San Diego protest. Let's uh, in La Jolla, Fox News 5. Here are live pictures from UC San Diego where police, as you can see, are clearing the pro-Palestinian encampment at UC San Diego. We've seen some officers take protesters. And you know what's fucked up? Like, so I heard somewhere that more than half of these protesters don't even go to these schools. A lot of these hooligans, that's what they are, have nothing better to do than just to rally shit up and throw wood into the fire. Those guys, fuck you. Into custody. At some moments, it looked like it was getting pretty tense. You can see some of the officers in riot gear here. We've even seen some snipers appeared yeah. on the rooftops. Snipers? This is the sixth day of the protest, oh which has been peaceful so far. They are demanding the university break off any relations with Israel. As you mentioned, we have seen a couple of the protesters being walked off, uh, being walked away uh, on their own power, so they were willing to go peacefully. Uh, but you can see from the police presence here, they are taking this seriously. They gave this demand uh, to get out, essentially, about an hour ago, basically giving a 6 a.m. deadline. And they're stepping in and they're doing that. As you mentioned, Christina, we have seen uh, officers and then perhaps all right these hooligans that are demanding to break ties with israel i don't think i don't believe severing ties with israel is the right move i think it's helping mediate better treatment for the palestinian civilians who have nothing to do with this war but you know there's a there's a bunch of radicals in this bitch bunch of radicals and you know what radicals like to do? They like to radicize shit. Snipers and not sure, but SWAT team on top of the roof of several of the buildings in that area, the West Campus. All operations there have been. Sh oh my God! An average price for gas is five thirty-one. Shit's going up again, man. Ooh. Shut down. All work is being uh, now. As you see something going on there with some of the po this is what we've been seeing a lot this morning uh obviously a heavy police presence um, the students and staff there the school has said they will face academic and employee sanctions if they refuse to leave students say however they're going to stay there as long as possible as long as their demands are met there is a big giant banner there that displays these are our demands mainly as you've seen in other campuses to divest from uh, any relations with Israel. And we were uh, just told also that UC San Diego classes will be remote today. They're also advising um, folks to avoid the area again north Torrey Pines Road to Interstate 5 because of uh, police activity there.
All right, we're going to keep a close eye on this. Obviously, we do have a reporter on the scene. We will check in with Elizabeth Alvarez momentarily. But this I guarantee is you that dude's not a fucking student. Six of these protesters that we've seen being taken away uh, in zip ties, and they're just coming one after the other, one after the other. Seemingly, once they're uh, zip tied, they're willingly going with police. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to note too, internet, don't. Listen to everything you see on the internet. Don't listen to me. Well, take a little bit, I hope. Or not, I don't fucking care. But don't be a sheep, man. Don't fucking follow the herd just because everyone else is doing it. Think for your fucking self, man. God. I want some ice cream right now. Uh, but they have said that they'll come back as they've done at other universities. So we'll see what happens when they go through that process. And then do they come back? Do they reset uh, uh, an encampment? Uh, that's yet to be seen at UC San Diego. Okay. When we, we've seen also nationwide, these this protests just today, sometimes yeah. have gotten uh, violent. Almost 7 a.m. In some places, we know that USC has been cleared for the most part. The encampments in that area. Uh, also, the UCLA. But as we can see here, UC San Diego, in its sixth day of protests, you can see some of the students there who look like they are refusing to leave, and we'll see what, what, what will happen here. But it looks like the intention of police right now um, is to make sure that they do clear yeah. this area. And, and they want to do it safely. Yeah. Uh, they, they don't want to cause any, any further problems or anything like that. So they're going to take their time. They're, they're not in a hurry. <coughs> they're going to take everybody, walk them off, as we've been seeing. And we're obviously, uh, Elizabeth Alvarez, again, she is on her way to the scene. Uh, and we'll keep our cameras there and our reporters there and bringing the very latest information. For All right, well, protests we are, are still ongoing and um, yeah, man, don't, don't follow the herd. Think for yourself. Use your brain, use your common sense. And if you're, pro <laughs> if you're planning to just to go there and just start shit, you're a problem. You're a problem. All right.